Well, rebounding out of this pandemic for some communities, it means fighting to preserve their past. ABC Action News rebound reporter Michael Paluska today traveling the Bay Area showcasing communities that are coming together for a better tomorrow. And tonight, his journey takes him to an historic place in Sarasota Bay that is now becoming a bit of a rallying cry for the tiny fishing village of Cortez. The village of Cortez is truly a historical place, and one of the owners of AP Bell Fish Company told me that they've lost so much in 2020, the last thing they want to do is start 2021 with another loss. The Guthrie Net Camp sits just off the shore of Cortez, a window to Florida's past when net camps like this one in 1926 lined Sarasota Bay. These are the only two remaining fish camps in Cortez, Florida. Karen Bell's family came to Cortez in the 1890s. Her business, AP Bell Fish Company, now operating a fleet of 18 fishing boats. For her, the net camps have always been there, a major part of the culture of Cortez. They're very unique to our history. They tell our story. They tell how the fishermen used to do things and then we try to educate the public about how we do things now. So it makes no sense to let them go. Because of storms and disrepair, she says the Guthrie net camp's been built and rebuilt multiple times in the same spot and on the same pilings where it stood for decades. But in 2017, the newest construction drew the attention of the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. State officials telling the owner, Raymond Guthrie Jr., the camp violated state law. After years of fighting to save it in October, a judge sided with the DEP ordering the camp's removal. We've asked DEP if we could possibly lease the submerged bottom, if we could buy the submerged bottom. I've actually submitted a Butler Act trying to figure out a way to keep it there, but they just really, I don't get it. I don't know why, again, that they're not being more supportive. This is so special to us here. Before the rise of synthetic nets, these camps were used to hang and dry cotton fishing nets, creating the iconic images of Florida life as a fisherman. Bell says artists traveled to Florida from across the globe to paint the docks of Cortez with the net camps in the background. It would just be a senseless shame. I mean, it makes no sense. They're not hurting anything. But I don't understand why they're not looking to help keep something that's so very unique to this village to preserve it. In Cortez, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.